Hello gang, this is Mock and I'm here with another video about Sea of Conquest, Pirate War. Okay, I said I wouldn't do it, but I have gone for Kartal's trinket to test it on his hero and compare the results so we can check together if it's worth it or not. But first, if you like my video, don't forget to like it after watching it, you know, I'll be very grateful. My purpose is to try to show you how most of the things in the game work, and that way save you from unnecessarily spending valuable resources. So I decided to go for Kartal's trinket. At the end of the day, that's why we are here for. I have Kartal with the spyglass, which as we know, bonuses the ship's attack twice, also having the chance to accumulate up to three layers of its buff. On the other hand, Kartal's Blade of Sovereignty increases the cutthroat damage and also applies the Hunter's Mark on the enemy with less health points remaining, increasing its aggro, which on paper will attract more attacks on itself, being quickly eliminated. Let's see first the results with Kartal using the Spyglass, which I have at level 100 but with no stars. I did 3 attacks on Fentonator, my gangmate. I managed to win 2 out of 3 attacks. The damage dealt by the Warhammer was on average 20.5 millions, 22.5 if I only take the two victories, with Kartal averaging almost 5.9 million damage. The Orochi with Sara on board is still a damage machine. Then I went to spend Golden Kongs and get Kartal's trinket. After spending 50 of them, I got the trinket. To get good heroes and level them up, we will have to get and consume conks in the recruitment. A good way to get them is through the use of glimstones to buy packs when we need them. And through Paxify is the safest and cheapest way to do it. By using the new Paxify app, we can buy glimstones and depending on our country and local currency, we can get discounts of up to 35%. Click the link in the description, download the app, join the Discord community and start saving. With Paxify, we're not just playing. We are playing smarter, don't miss out. I had to disassemble the spyglass and I used the eternal flame I got to level up the blade of sovereignty to level 100, so I could compare them at the same level I had the spyglass. Then I made another 3 attacks with the blade of sovereignty on Kartal. This time it is 3 victories. Now the Warhammer averaged 15.6 million damage, lower than with the spyglass but with Kartal averaging 7 million damage. Let's compare in the graph the results of both cases. Important to say that for this graph I did not consider the defeat suffered in the first case. The remaining HP of the fleet was slightly higher when Kartal was using his trinket. The damage of the fleet was slightly higher. The damage taken was lower. The Warhammer dealt less damage when Kartal used his trinket. but. I had no defeats when he was using it, something to pay attention to. Also, looking for differences in the victories, I could see that when Kartal used his trinket, my fleet took on average 3 seconds less to sink the enemy fleet. I wanted to do one more test, this time removing Sara from the Orochi, thinking that maybe the insane damage she produces is hiding the capabilities of Kartal and his trinket. And the truth? Out of 3 attacks on Fentonator, he defeated me in 2 of them, and the one I was able to beat him, my fleet was pretty much at the limit of another loss. The average damage of the Warhammer was 17.2 million, and the average damage of Kartal was 6.8 million. But I lost more, and in the only case where I defeated Fentonator in every attack, it was when Kartal was using the Blade of Sovereignty. Besides being easier victories and in less time, it is maybe the combined effect of the Hunter Mark that Kartal's second skill and the trinket itself have, which makes the attacks to concentrate on the ship with less HP on the enemy fleet, so they are eliminated faster. In conclusion, even though I was testing the Blade of Sovereignty, I think there is an improvement when using it, but what we have confirmed is that Sarah is definitely the hero of the S5 season on whom we should definitely invest our Golden Kongs. Ok gang, here ends this video. I hope this can be helpful for you. As always, 
Join my Discord and follow me in my other social media. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and activate notifications so you know when I upload new content. This is Mock. I wish you all a great day. Bye bye.